What's going on guys? It is Bernardo from the BTN HD and today is all about Parallels Desktop 16 for the Mac. It's an installation guide plus the new features that the Desktop 16 has released. So let's get right into it. Okay, Parallels Desktop 16 for the Mac. Ugh, I haven't touched this application for so long, uh, but I've been blessed to actually test it out. So I'm doing an installation guide for you guys. So uh, what's new with the new version? Uh, these are some of the highlights, uh, DirectX 11 and OpenGL 3, increased battery life, uh, automatically reclaims disk space, which is really huge. That's really huge. Uh, it has new multi-touch gestures for Windows apps. That's pretty awesome. And enhanced printing. Let's start the installation part because it's super simple installing this. So on your desktop, you're going to open up your favorite browser. Uh, open up Chrome and we are going to go inside parallels.com and you are able to click on download the free trial. And from here, we are going to click on download now. You're going to get this nice little prompt, just click okay. And on the lower left hand side of Chrome, it's gonna start downloading the DMG file. So it's about a 200 megabytes, right? Once it's done, what we are going to do is click on it and it's going to start opening up or extracting the DMG file. So once this is completed, you should get this nice little window it's pretty simple. Just double click on install, double click on it, and you're going to get this. We are going to click on open, and you're going to get another prompt installing Parallels Desktop. How easy is that, right? And eventually, you're going to get this. It's going to start verifying the Parallels Desktop because you know the new Mac OS is pretty tight with security. And then you're going to get the software license agreement, accept it, and you're going to get uh, a prompt. You need to enter your username and password for Parallels to continue the installation within your Mac OS environment. Once you enter that information, click OK. It's going to start initializing the Parallels desktop. It's going to want you to give it access to the downloads folder. Now, this access is for your downloads folder on your Mac. All right, click OK. It's going to start Parallels Desktop. You're going to notice on your upper right hand side that Parallels Desktop notification wants you to allow or disallow. This is really up to you. Uh, if you click allow, then you get all the notifications. All right, just pick, you know, pick your poison. Then you get this nice little dialog box basically stating system extension blocked. Uh, by mistake, I wasn't paying attention. You were supposed to click on open security preferences. So I clicked on OK by mistake. But if it was me, you clicked on OK, you are able to just click on security preferences here and it will open up. Just unlock it and click on allow. Once you click on allow, it will continue starting Parallels Desktop within your Mac OS environment. And eventually you're going to get this. There's a crap load of permissions that uh, Parallels Desktop needs within your Mac OS. So when you click on next here, it wants access to your desktop folder. So click OK here. It wants access for your documents folder. Click OK. Uh, it wants access to your downloads folder again. So click OK here. Now it might be different within your environment. Uh, for me, within this video, I just basically gave allow access to all three folders. But for you, you might think different. You don't want Parallels Desktop to have access to your desktop or documents. It's up to you, right? So pick what you want on your environment. So once you're completed, click on finish. Again, you're going to get the same nice little dialog box right in the middle of the screen, basically stating parallels, desktop, starting, and eventually you're going to get this. Now this is pretty cool. Uh, it's gonna download and install Windows 10. You are able to skip this if you want, but I wanted to see how everything was going to work out. So I clicked on install Windows and it's gonna start creating the Windows 10 virtual machine for me. It's going to start downloading Windows 10 locally, which is around 5.27 gigs. Once it's done, it's going to want you to give it access to your camera. So again, it's up to you. You can click on don't allow or okay. For me, I clicked on okay. Eventually it's going to ask for microphone access. This is up to you. For the video, I clicked on okay. You're gonna see this. Eventually, you're going to see this, which is a good sign. It's almost done, and you're going to get a nice little prompt stating installation completed. If you click on the virtual machine, it's going to take you here. It wants you to sign in to your Parallels account. This is how it is licensed. So if you do not have an account and you don't have a legit license, it's not going to work. 
So I picked, uh, I have a password. I entered my username, my password, and bam, my subscription ends in a year. I clicked on activate. My copy was activated, clicked okay. The virtual machine is going to expand. It's gonna automatically launch to parallels.com, basically stating Windows install successfully. And that's it. You're inside your virtual machine. And that's it guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that thumbs up, smash that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell to get the latest and greatest from this guy. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.